Escondido parents making an emotional plea after their 14 year old son was killed by a hit and run driver. That family is now offering a $10,000 reward for information that could lead to an arrest. Fox 5's Tony Shin reports. And he was, a, he was a great kid. He was a great son. <laughs> he had a beautiful personality. He was always happy. It's been a month since Angel Ornelas Ponce passed away, but for his parents, time isn't healing any of their deep heartache. He was looking forward to the future, looking forward to play football, soccer. He was looking forward to falling in love. And I miss him, I miss him so much. Angel Sr. and his wife Miriam say their son was an exceptional student at Escondido High School. And he loved to go skateboarding, but on August 8th at around 9.30 p.m., Angel was riding his skateboard home from a friend's house when he was struck by a vehicle near the intersection of North Fig Street and Millbrook Place. The driver kept going, leaving Angel lying in the roadway with critical injuries that he couldn't recover from. It hurts me to know that you could just hit him and leave. Not even hit the brakes, not even call the police. Nothing. Maybe if they would have stopped and, and, and gave him CPR or something, he, maybe my son would still be here. He'd probably have a better chance at being here. Ever since the deadly hit and run, Escondido police investigators have been trying to identify the driver by searching for witnesses and surveillance video. They released this picture and video of a newer gray Honda Civic that they believe is the suspect's vehicle. But so far, they have not been able to make an arrest, which is why Angel's parents are now offering a $10,000 reward for any information leading to a conviction. My son is gone <laughs> because of someone's selfishness. The money is coming from the donations the family has gotten from the community, which has shown tremendous support for the family. Angel's parents are hoping the reward will encourage someone who knows the driver to come forward. If it's more important for you to not give them up than to do the right thing, it just says, it says something about you also. It's not fair that you get to continue on day to day like nothing ever happened. And I gotta look at pictures of my son. I, get to, I never get to hear his voice again. Once again, investigators believe the suspect's vehicle may be a newer model gray Honda Civic. They say a witness actually saw it traveling south on North Fig Street right after that deadly crash. If you have any information about it, call Escondido Police. In Escondido, I'm Tony Shin. We'll send it back to you.